Good morning, guys. So, <clears throat> obviously, I am at work again, blasting myself with sunlight in the face. Um, but I basically have been asked this question by a few different people now. And so I thought that it might be helpful to address it in a video form. Um, and I should also specify that I've been asked this by people in my personal life, not as much online, um, but I'm sure that some of you are wondering this as well. So if you couldn't tell by the title, what this video is about is things that you can do to help someone or be helpful to someone who has recently had a weight loss surgery, whether that's gastric sleeve or gastric bypass. Obviously, my experience... Um, and I should say there are other weight loss surgeries besides just gastric bypass and gastric sleeve. Um, for example, there's duodenal switch and all of that. But um, <clears throat> I just wanted to um, say that my experience specifically is from a gastric sleeve standpoint. So please don't just assume that I know everything about the other surgeries because I don't even know everything about my own surgery and obviously I can only speak from my own personal experience. So what I will say is not helpful right off the bat is don't sit there and say that you understand unless you have gone through a weight loss surgery, you don't understand the struggle of trying to adjust to this whole brand new life, to this whole brand new stomach. Um, this new way of eating because it is very difficult mentally. Um, I am almost a month out from surgery. Next week, next Monday will be four weeks since I have had surgery and um, it seems like time is flying by but at the same time, like I am still going through the different diet phases. I am still working through all of the mental craziness of having to tell my body that you're not really hungry. Like it is head hunger and you just really need to drink some more water and find something to keep yourself busy, something, some sort of physical activity to do so that you can stop like thinking about food all the time. Um, so please don't tell the person that you understand if you don't actually understand. If you have not gone through this surgery, you do not do not understand. Don't try to tell the person that you will go on this diet with them. There is absolutely no reason why a person who has not gone through weight loss surgery should be following this diet. Now, I will say that if you want to eat the same things, so be it. Like, I'm not telling you you can't, but there's absolutely no reason why a person who has not had weight loss surgery should be doing this to themselves. Um, there is a physical reason why we can only eat as much as we can, and that's because a majority of our stomach is now gone. Um, as far as, like, purees and things like that, there's another reason, like, because our body has to readjust to different foods, that is why we have to do these different phases to make sure that our body can handle certain foods again. So, you know, there's really no reason, unless you've gone through this surgery at the same time, for you to be following the exact same diet, eating the exact same things. Um, I will say that it is very helpful if you want to go shopping with the person. Um, my godmother has gone shopping with me a few times and helped me find different things. Um, if you want to try to be helpful and look up recipes for the different stages that follow the person's guidelines because each surgeon's office is different as far as what they allow during the different phases. For example, some surgeons' offices allow eggs and things like that. I am only allowed to have eggs if it is in a pureed egg salad. Like, I can't just have eggs by itself um, or by themselves. Like, I can't just have scrambled eggs, and other people are allowed to have scrambled eggs on their puree diet. So I'm not exactly sure why that is, but the only thing that I'm allowed to have with eggs is... Um, hard-boiled eggs made into a pureed egg salad. I'm not sure why, but, um, yeah. 
So I don't think that it's helpful to also constantly ask the person if they're losing weight. Um, they do tell us not to weigh ourselves um, consistently, especially at first, because like it is a little bit deceptive when you first start losing weight after surgery because um, you're losing a lot of water weight that you got from getting IV fluids while you're in the hospital and drinking liquids only or being on a liquids only diet. So um, it can be a little bit deceptive in that aspect. So um, they do recommend not weighing yourself consistently, which I thankfully with my insurance problems, I have stopped weighing myself daily and my behavioral person has said that she would reach out and talk to the care managers if um like if they didn't allow me to stop weighing myself daily because I was getting very discouraged and frustrated and like obviously now that I'm introducing or reintroducing more solid foods um not solid but like semi-solid because I'm on purees for at least another two weeks um like I don't it, it's throwing my body off and plus like you're still healing from this crazy surgery that you just did um, or just had and so you need to give your body time to adjust to different things um, so constantly asking people um, if they've lost weight or what their weight is is not helpful either um, trying to tell people what they should do as far as exercise is not helpful either. I will say that encouraging people to get out and walk and those sorts of things, especially early on after surgery, is definitely helpful, but you don't know what the person is able to do physically, um, like what they're allowed to do. So I actually have spoken with my surgeon's office and the exercise physiologist and I'm not allowed to do certain things so what I'm allowed to do exercise wise right now is I'm allowed to walk I am allowed to um, use the exercise bike and I am allowed to use an elliptical but as far as like kayaking or swimming I'm not allowed, I'm not cleared to do those things yet. And so it does get a little bit frustrating because I want to do those things, but as of right now, I am not cleared medically to do those things. So it is very frustrating, but um, just don't kind of tell people, oh, you should go swimming or, oh, you should do this or, you know, because you don't know what their surgeon's office has cleared them to do physically. So just keep those things in mind. Um also, I would say, like, if you are someone who is in a relationship or lives with someone who has had weight loss surgery, and you know that they have a busy, busy schedule, and um, you are willing to help them prepare their meals or go shopping with or for them, definitely offer Um but if you're going to do that, make sure that you are following the measurements exactly. Um, so for example, I am only allowed to have a quarter cup serving of food when I eat solid foods. And so I need, like my godmother has prepared some things for me and she has gone over a couple times pre-op, um, not post-op because I showed her exactly how much I'm allowed to have and she has stuck to that. But like pre-op, she definitely gave me bigger servings than I was allowed to have. And so um, <clears throat> I definitely keep that in mind that there is a reason why these limits are in place. And so you have to stick to those limits and measurements exactly um, because you can actually make somebody sick if you go over it. Um, you can cause problems. And so just keep in mind that if you want to help somebody that way and they allow you to help them in that way, that um, stick to the exact measurements. It was very helpful when I switched to the puree diet or transitioned or advanced, whatever you want to call it, to the puree diet from liquids only. It was very helpful that my dietitian gave me a few pages of recipes to follow because it had exact measurements. I have doubled a few of those just to have some extra um, servings available of certain recipes that sounded really really good to me 
Um, so I basically just doubled the recipe, but I still um, portioned it out into my little portion containers that equal a quarter cup serving. So anyways, those are the tips that I'm able to come up with. I am sure I will develop more as I continue along this journey. Um, Oh, and also I have one more tip before I go, sorry. If a person is telling you that they are at a weight loss stall or that they have actually gained a few pounds, especially like at the time where I'm at right now, because the scale has been going back and forth for me. I'm also on my period right now. So like, I feel like that has something to do with it also, but your weight fluctuates all the time as a normal person who hasn't gone through weight loss surgery. And of course, the same thing is going to happen when you have gone through weight loss surgery. So just keep that in mind. Like if someone's telling you that, don't say, oh, well, you should do this or you should do this. Just tell them to keep doing what it is that they were told to do by the surgeon's office. Keep following the recommendations, keep following the guidelines and doing everything they're supposed to do, drinking enough water, getting enough protein, and following if they have calorie um, limits and things like that, following those and just continue to get exercise, physical activity, and it will happen. Um, it is very frustrating when they're going through it. Like right now, I am very frustrated with the lack of progress and I've actually gained two pounds, um, no, three pounds since getting my period, which is really a normal thing. Um, a lot of women gain weight during their period. So, um, I'm just looking for that number to start going back down again. Um, so yeah, anyways, I just thought that I would share that with you guys. Um, if you have gone through a weight loss surgery and you have any tips to add, please leave them in the comments below. Like I said, I am sure I will come up with some more tips for helping people in your life who have recently gone through weight loss surgery um, or who have just gone through weight loss surgery in general. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm only almost to the one month mark and like the scale is stuck right now and actually going up, which like I said, is probably because of my period, but but I have gone down to a size 12, 14 in pants and the day of surgery, I was in a size 20 in pants. So just keep that in mind. I am definitely losing inches and I have lost 16 pounds since my weight loss surgery. Um, even though that has gone up a little bit, um, because of, I'm sure hormonal changes and water retention and things like that. But anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. This video has gone on long enough and I am about to go into work. So I will let you guys go for now. Again, let me know if there's any topics you would like to hear me discuss on my channel or any questions or comments or suggestions that you have. I am always willing to listen. And yeah, with that being said, I will talk to you guys in my next one.